Hi, this is Raquel with Balloon Splendor. I have another feature I want to show you in Publisher that I think is really slick. I find it up here in the Shapes uh, category. It's this uh, strange looking freeform shape. It's a, it's a shape that gets closed in. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to go ahead and draw something that's going to look kind of like a frond or like a 260 or a 160 accent that might come out of like the top of a column for example. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of close it off there just like that. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can... Okay, so there it is. And it's, it's, it's okay. It's a little rough. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say Edit Points. And everywhere you see one of these little squares you can go ahead and grab it and you can change it up a little bit if you want. So, uh, you know, the fun part about playing with these uh, features is that you can do, you can be on here all day long fine tuning things. So that's how you do it. You can do really gross changes too if you wanted to. I mean, you literally can do whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back. So that's, that's something there. Again, if you want to change the thickness of a line, you do that here under weight. You can go really thin or you can go super thick. Okay, you can also change it uh, into dashes or other patterns if that's what you want to do. I find uh, relatively thin lines works best for the mock-ups that I do. Uh, let's see, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah, so you right click on it again, whoops, click on the picture, right click, and there's something called Open Path. Okay, and you'll notice that down here the circle is a little bit different and it's touching it here. So what we can do here now is we can take it and we can change the shape. Okay, so once you, you get the, the frond exactly the way you like it, you can control copy and paste and you can grab this over here and you can change it up a little bit right so your fronds can have different shapes I just copied and pasted it again okay copy and paste it again this time we're just going to flip it over here so this is another way that you can uh, make different balloon accents. Obviously if you were going to do this for a client you would spend a little more time making sure that it's a little more even. But this is just to demonstrate a different function in here. So this is looking kind of cool. So let's go and copy and paste one more. I'm going to move it back towards the center and uh, look at that. Copy and paste and we're going to flip this one over. So I've got an interesting little fountain thing going here that we could put on top of a column. So I can zoom this out, we can select the whole thing, and we can group it, move it up, and we can go over here to my uh, page parts, and we can go ahead and add, and add the column. I'm going to go ahead and lock my aspect ratio on that. I just right clicked it for a quick little menu so I can shrink it down a little bit and keep everything in proportion. Okay, look at that. So that is how to use the freeform shape. Again, I found it here under shapes. It's right there. And I showed you how you can change some of the points around and, and uh, manipulate them easier. And again, to change the color, whoops, we can just select it and go to the fill button. And you can change it to whatever color you want. Just like that, we can go to more fill colors, and you can pick a really nice punchy color of lime green if that's what you wanted to do. So, enjoy the tutorial. Thank you.